Welcome back, friends. Frederick here, Ruah Nation, and we're talking about breathing life into the world, one person at a time, one video at a time, one moment at a time. We had an interview today with uh, a young man there who uh, is a, an employee of a rehabilitation center for drug addiction, all kinds of addictions, and he shared with us about speaking life. So now we're grabbing coffee and we made some cookies earlier this afternoon and we saw a couple homeless people picking bottles. So we're grabbing a couple coffees here and we're gonna take them some cookies and coffee and uh, praise God, take the big guy upstairs for a few bucks because we need more of this. That's how we're gonna spread the good news that people need to know there's hope even when you're down and out and you're living on the streets or you're struggling in the middle of uh, uh, your own personal battles. So we're gonna grab these coffees and a couple of toonies and we're just gonna drive by and I'm gonna introduce myself and I'm gonna hand it to them, no big deal. And who knows, maybe one day I'll get to hear their story and it'll be online. So until I see you again next time, remember Ruah is breathing life into the world. One video at a time, one moment at a time, one story at a time, but most importantly, one person at a time. Wow, that was awesome, hey? How God just touched us. Um, what Debbie and I did was we went and we took $20 out of the bank and bought some coffees because we drove by a homeless couple. So we bought some coffees and got a couple loonies. We made cookies earlier today and we just happened to drive around with extra blankets in the back. I always have extra sleeping bags and some coats. So I went and I talked to my friend uh, who's homeless and her other friend is taking the bottles in right now. And so I give him a couple bucks. I told her I wish it was more. And I said, enjoy a hot coffee. And Tisha, I just want you to know, you know, I told her my name, Frederick. I just want to say, hey, you know what? God's just saying hello to you tonight. And uh, enjoy some cookies and some coffee. Here's a couple bucks. And I kind of talked to her. I said, you know, how is it being out on the streets here? You know, are, are things tough for you? I really, all she said was, you know, it's really cold tonight. And I thought to myself, wow, that door was just open because I carry a blanket around. I said, Tisha, one second. And I went into the back of the vehicle, our vehicle, and I grabbed the sleeping bag and I gave it to her. And I just, I said, good night, you know, God bless. I said, maybe I'll see you around because I like to come out and, and visit some of my friends on the streets. And, uh, and I get in the car and I'm feeling really good about myself. And see, that's kind of a thing. You don't want to be proud. I mean, we are all called to love all kinds of people. And I'll admit, I was intimidated. When I drove by, I was kind of scared. I didn't want to stop. They, they looked intimidating to me. But I remember the saying that you cannot love people if you're too busy judging them. And so essentially I get in and I'm feeling really good. But God, my higher power, I believe, reminded me that it's not about doing these huge, amazing things with sirens and bright lights. It's about doing acts of random kindness, paying it forward. I don't have a ton of money, but I can do a little bit right here with what I got. And so the message is that you already have what the world needs. And as you grow and learn to follow, you will begin to listen and hear what to do next. And I heard blanket. I heard she was cold. And when she said she was cold, to me that sounded like give her your sleeping bag. So I was able to bless her with a sleeping bag. And I'm not here to toot a horn. What I'm here is to promote the awareness that you have life being breathed into you and you have a responsibility to breathe that life into somebody else. And I've come to learn that the love I have for my higher power, the love I have for the big guy upstairs, the love I have for myself that grows every day is compelling me. There's something inside of me that wants to help others make this world a better place. So now we're headed off to a meeting I go to. Uh, it's, it's called Speak Life. And uh, hopefully we'll post this message. And you guys are uh, a real inspiration to me because a channel like this only works by people liking, subscribing, and viewing. And I believe that the message of hope will get out. Take care. Don't forget, put your slippers far under the bed tonight because when you get up in the morning, you'll have to drop to your knees. And while you're down there, thank the big guy upstairs. Talk to you later.